All right, guys, before we get started, I got to read a disclaimer. This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install CFG USB Loader GX on the Wii or the Wii U on the VW side. Uh, so this is going to be a cross between USB Loader GX and Wii Flow. So I've created a folder with all the files that you're going to need. So just head over to my page, find the wallpaper to this video, go to the download link. This is going to be a zip folder. You're going to have to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR. Now for the files provided. Apps folder. You're going to have Nintendo, USB loader, Wii Mod Lite. Games folder. This is where you're going to put your GameCube games. Uh, USB loader with all these files. If you want to add covers manually, head over to the covers folder. And then pick your format. So for me, uh, 3D and disc is what I use. Also, uh, themes, if you want to add themes to this build, they go in here. Uh, so this build is going to come with seven themes. It's going to have a WADS folder. Now, I've converted the uh, channel folder to the VWE if you want to install it on the Wii U. So just make sure you install the right one. So VWE WAD, this is for the Wii U. And then the Wii WAD is for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, last folder, WBFS. This is where you put your Wii games. Make sure they are in the proper format. And that is basically it for the setup of your SD card. Now we're going to get on the Wii. I'll show you how to install the channel. And a little bit of the CFG USB loader. All right, guys, now over on your Wii. First, I'm going to show you how to install the channel using Wii Mod Lite. So let's load it up. Go down to the WAD manager, press A. Press A on the Wii SD slot. Uh, go down to the Wii WAD. If you're installing this on the Wii, uh, USB loader CFG WAD, press A, and then press A to install. Press any key to continue, press B, and then press the home button. Now you should have the CFG loader WAD channel. There it is. Uh, so let's start it up. Um, so for this loader, you can use your external drive, USB, or you can also use the SD card. Start. This should load you into the loader automatically. If you have everything else uh, set up correctly, including your covers. So this is what the loader is going to look like. Uh, so go over to settings. You can go over to console. It'll give you a different view. So it gives you this kind of view. Now go back, pressing B. Back to settings. So go to settings again, uh, go to system, uh, make sure your device is selected and the partition. And then the most important thing when it comes to the uh, default GameCube mode, it's most likely going to be in Dios Mios, which was an old loader uh, for the GameCube games. Uh, 
but we are going to be using Nintendo to load the GameCube games. So just go over to there's Nintendo and then save settings and go back and now your Wii games uh, and GameCube games should all work properly. If you want to change the view, just go up and down on the uh, D-pad. So pressing down gives you this mode. And pressing up this mode grid and then this mode and then up one more it's going to show you uh, this uh, grid so my favorite one is grid 2 uh, you should be able to you can sort by title or anything that you want to sort your games by. So when you go into a game. When you go into a game. It's, it's going to play the theme of the game. And then it's going to show the cover. And then it's going to show your uh, disc cover as well. Um, some games might have the info right there. Uh, you can go into options, change any option that you want, but everything should uh, pretty much be set up already. So go back. Uh, GameCube games are the same thing. So let's pick Mario Kart. So it's going to have the um, 3D cover and the disc. And this should all be set up as well. So to start a game, just go over to your game, uh, press the A button, and then start, and then it boots up right away. Uh, the GameCube games are exactly the same way. So there you go. So that's how you set up the CFG loader. Uh, this is going to work for the Wii or Wii U. I will leave all the links you're going to need in the uh, pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.